بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله الذي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا أب القاسم المصطفى محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين لا سيما بقية الله في الأرضين أجل الله تعالى فرجه الشريف اللهم أخرجني من ظلمات الفهم وأكرمني بنور الفهم اللهم افتح إلينا أبواب رحمتك وانشر علينا خزائن علومك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحم الحمد لله بها التوفيق to continue our study of outlines of transcendent philosophy uh, last week I was not able to uh, hold the class because I was in Italy as you know for, uh, for 11th round of Wings of Unity but now I'm back home so inshallah we can have our session today with Allah our topic as you know is haraka movement or motion we already started this and as you remember we said in every haraka or motion there are six elements al mabda the origin al muntaha the destination al masafa the distance or more precisely the category in which motion takes place it can be cam cave ain vaz or according to mullah sadra it can be johar sorry so this is masafa then fa'ilul haraka the mover which is the one that initiates the motion and according to philosophers this is as suratul jismiya or as suratul nu'iya more generally because suratul nu'iya can be surah jismiya or other types of surah and this is why we say that uh, suratul nu'iya is sharikatul illatul fa'iliya because many things happen by file through as suratul nu'iya then we have mawzu'ul haraka the subject which is moving fa'ilul haraka is the mover mawzu'ul haraka is the moving the subject which is moving al mutaharrik the file is muharrik this is also another thing that uh, has to be discussed the previous ones we talked about mabda alhamdulillah we talked about muntaha we talked about time and duration of haraka we talked fa uh, fa'ilul haraka we talked today inshallah we want to talk about mawzu'ul haraka and inshallah next lesson we will have harakat uh, johari substantial motion this discussion prepares for that but uh, still we haven't uh, started the main discussion about harakat johari the title was just haraka for this lesson I start from page 96 for those who have the book Mawzu'a Haraka the subject of motion Mawzu of Haraka cannot be anything other than corporeal substance Jawhar Jismani why? because for Haraka we need something which has potentiality and actuality if it is just potentiality only potentiality it doesn't exist potentiality alone doesn't exist at least should have one actuality at least if it is actuality 100% 
الفعلية المحضة like أقول مجردة immaterial intellects there is no حركة they can exist but there is no حركة so القوة المحضة doesn't exist الفعلية المحضة exists but cannot have حركة there is no change when there is فعلية المحضة is 100% actual there is no potential so there is no change what can have movement is something that has some potentiality and some actuality okay and this is only in Johar Jismani so according to philosophers only Johar Jismani can have haraka which is gradual change okay so this is one point the other point is that previous philosophers I mean philosophers prior to Mullah Sadra had the idea that just to have mawdu of haraka at the beginning of haraka is not enough haraka needs mawdu and for them this mawdu has to remain has to continue to exist we need it for beginning we need it also for continuity therefore they were emphasizing on having something a stable something fixed whenever there is haraka there can be changes in certain categories but there must be a subject which is fixed and therefore they had the idea that johar is making this role playing this role of keeping things together and making them the same thing so for them haraka in johar was not possible why because we need mawdu for haraka and this mawdu is needed at the beginning and in continuity if there is haraka even in mawdu then we don't have the same thing they have argued also in different ways to prove this point we have five arguments here five you know dalil for them for previous philosophers some of these arguments like argument one and two the first two arguments put the emphasis in the argument on mozu or subject of haraka being something which is free from need for the accidents you know johar is mozu a mustagni because sometimes you are talking about madde and sura they need each other but Johar doesn't need Aras. Aras needs Johar. Johar doesn't need accident. Accident needs Johar. So they say in the first and second argument, which I will explain later, they say because we need a, a subject matter which is independent and Haraka is uh, built upon it or is, you know, riding on it, then we need Mozu. To be a fixed johar the third argument puts the focus on need for madde a matter which is a matter which is the carrier of استعداد, potential substantial potential or accidental potential for haraka istedad normally is used for uh, uh, if it is as a kayf istedadi as an aras accident if it is owe as a substantial thing then it is a uh, johari number four uh, argument four and argument five put the focus on the subject matter being the one that m preserves unity Hafiz Vahdat Harakat. 
something that makes the same thing remaining at the same time moving not that we started with moving something and ended with something else you know being result of it two different subjects so there are five arguments mentioned or made by philosophers prior to Mullah Sadra to say that we need a fixed subject matter therefore cannot be Harakat Jawhari let us now discuss them one by one the first argument according to previous philosophers haraka is aras is accident for them haraka was mahiya for mullah sadra haraka is a type of wujud is a mode of existence but for them haraka is aras accident and every accident or aras as long as it exists needs a place a container a subject which is free from need and remains stable so if color of the wall changes at least you have the wall color changes or color of fruit there's a fruit for example apple first is green then becomes maybe red but the same apple so they say haraka is aras is accident accident needs mawzu'a mustaghniya sabit a subject which is mm, free from need for that aras and remains the same therefore we cannot have mawzu' of haraka changed second argument since mullah sadra believes that haraka is the type of existence of masafa of distance so the first argument then can be revised and put in this way like a second argument distance of haraka is either kam or kaif or ain or vaza Aristotle believed in three we will talk about this inshallah about kam kaif ain later they added vaza as well the difference between ain and vaza is ain is the relation between something and the space but vaz is also about uh, relation between parts of something and the space so sometimes something doesn't change the location but changes situation like something going around itself خب حرکت according to Mullah Sadra is therefore the type or the mode of existence of Aras either Kam or Kaif or Ayn or Was is not Mahiya or Aras which is a type of Mahiya is Nahweya Wujud so it's a type of being for Aras and therefore needs a place which is free from need and fixed the third argument is based on a well-known philosophical rule these philosophical rules are very interesting you know uh, when we had a falsafi muqaddamati or bedaye you know there were some rules that i kept you know emphasizing on and asking you to remember them one of these rules that uh, are very useful in explaining and understanding different things is kullu hadithin masbuqun bi quwwatin wa maddatin tahmiluha for example in aswar this is mentioned in volume 3 page 49 and page 56 and between them kullu hadithin masbuqun bi quwwatin wa maddatin tahmiluha every created thing everything which has a history of non-existence you remember hades is something which is preceded by adam by non-existence so you can say created or 
is preceded by non-existence. So every hadith should be preceded by quwwah, by potentiality. And madda, which carries that quwwah, because quwwah by itself cannot exist. Quwwah needs a carrier, which is madda. Madda is a type of, one of the five types of johar is madda. This madda is different from jism. Uh, madda in physics is different. It's a type of this mud. We are talking about madda in philosophy, which with some form, with surat jismiye, together becomes jism. But madda in itself is just carrier of potentiality. If every hadith is preceded by quwwa and maddatan tahmiluha a matter which carries that quwwa therefore anything which is hadith zamani anything which is created at a certain time uh, or has a life uh, span in time then needs a subject because this is araz and needs a subject which is material, Jawhar Maddi, which is going to carry it, Tahmil. So we need Jawhar Maddi. They say this Jawhar Maddi is the same Hayula, the prime matter which is available in at some, for example, in physical objects. And when Istadad turns into reality and actuality, still that mod, that carrier of potentiality remains. It's not that it goes away. It remains and with the new form actually can become mod for a second form. And with that can become mod for a third form. So that carrier of potentiality remains. So, haraka needs to be preceded by maddatan tahmiluha, and therefore there must be something which is a subject matter, is a sub johar which remains. Because as I said, even when istedad goes away, still madda remains. The fourth argument is uh, based on analyzing the concept of tabdil or transformation. When something changes at once, ani, at a moment, at a certain moment. For example, one chemical substance becomes another thing. Hydrogen becomes helenium, for example or helium, hydrogen becomes helium. One and two are their places in the table of Mendeleev. So if hydrogen becomes helium at a moment, what, we d what do we need if we analyze? Sheikh Ubudiyat says we need, of course he's explaining the arguments of philosophers prior to Mullah Sallam. We need these two substances to be different, otherwise there is no change, there is no harak. Hydrogen has to be something else, like helium, they are different, so that we can say there is harak. But also we need to say the same hydrogen has become helium. So, in Hamani and in Ghayrani means this should be different from the other one so that there is Harakah and this should be the same as we need to say something has changed, something has moved. So, two aspects are together. One makes sure that there is change, one makes sure that there is continuity. The same thing has become like this. 
he says در هر تبدیل و تبدلی in any transformation there is a need for امری غیر ثابت و عوض شمند something which is not fixed something which is replaced which is changed which makes sure that we have تغییر this is the criterion for change but also we need امری ثابت و باقی we need something which is fixed and remains که حافظ وحدت فرایند تبدیل this makes sure that we have one process of change not separate things you know just existed one after the other without connection no this is one thing which is going through this change so in haraka also we need something fixed something changeable the one which is changeable is masafat masafat of haraka the distance of haraka is the thing that is changing color is changing quantity is changing what is changing that's masaf but we need also in haraka something which is fixed and that is the guarantor for unity this is called mawdu the one which changes is masafa the one which guarantees unity is called mawdu and definitely mawdu cannot be masafa because masafa is about change uh, mawdu is about wahda unity so these are two different things if we don't have mawdu there is problem if we don't have masafa there is problem the fifth argument is put in this way in tasawud laysa sawadan wahidan yashdad bal ishtidad al mawdu' fi sawadiyatihi if you understand this sentence you understand argument number 5 which is the last argument and that tasawwud tasawwud means to become more black okay sawad means black uh, or aswad means black sawad means to be black tasawwud means to become more and more black suppose something is becoming more black okay خب what is tasawwud philosophers say it's not that we have one black thing which is is intensifying in blackness laysa sawadan wahidan yashdad it's not w- one similar identical blackness which is becoming black more black no bal ishtidad al mawdu' fi sawadiyati rather it means that there is a subject that is becoming more and more black in other words what they mean is the following number 1 black is something now which is masafa of haraka because in this category of color of black the change is taking place this masafa cannot be itself mawdu of haraka so mawdu of haraka is different from masafa we need other than masafa mawdu and mawdu has to be sayal has to be dynamic has to be changing it cannot be one thing which is fixed and only change happens in color we need something which is um, changing and getting different types of color but without itself being changed موضوع الحركه 
Mullah Sadra has tried to explain this argument, sometimes um, with more details, sometimes less details. And um, Sheikh Ubudiyat explains different uh, possibilities, seven possibilities. I go to the very core of the argument, uh, if you want uh, an uh, exhausting deduction to say you know why there cannot be you know any other option then you can read the book but the very central part of the argument is this if we have a subject like jism like a physical object which is remaining the same throughout haraka and Black things, you know, black is changing and therefore haraka is taking place in the color of black. Then there is no issue that color is changing, but subject matter mozu is the same. According to, we are talking about before Mullah Sada, they are arguing for having the same subject. به بیان دیگر I read this sentence uh, which is important به این معناست که جسم در سیاهی اشتداد می یابد It means that this جسم is intensified being intensified in being black که حرکت است اشتدادی در سیاهی so this is a haraka, great, graded haraka in black, which has a mozu. Mo what is mozu? Mozu on jismas. So we have same jism, but with a change in color of black. Not one black, different black, but one jism. پس فرض حرکت اشتدادی بدون فرض موضوعی ثابت و باقی فرضی است ناون که We cannot suppose there is a motion which leads to intensifying a quality like arras, like color without having a fixed subject. It's not possible. خب this is the idea before Mullah Sadr, that when you have mawzu or la haraka, you should remember that for them mawzu or la haraka must be something fixed. This is one of the main differences with Mullah Sadr. Maybe about mabda um, muntaha fa'ilu la haraka, there is not that much difference, but here mawzu or la haraka is very important. The next discussion is masafa, distance. Sheikh Ubudiyat explains this in different ways and he makes it, you know, more and more precise, more and more philosophical. First, he says, we said masafa of haraka is the same uh, characteristic of the one which is moving which is continuously changing. So you can say a characteristic that is changing. But if you want to mm, speak more precisely, you say masafat harakat is maqulay, is the same category. You remember we had maqulat ashr, yeah? Ten categories, one johar, nine aras. So masafa Instead of just saying خصوصية, a characteristic or particularity, you say is the category مقولیست که ویژگی مزبور در آن مندرج است. This characteristic falls under that مقوله. For example, if color of apple is changing from green to red, okay, this 
color of red and color of green they fall under category of kayf so kayf is masafa for haraka because you know kayf is mahsus or ghayr mahsus and kayf mahsus is uh, mar'i or other types and mar'i is you know about colors so philosophers say masafat harakat maghule ist ke mutaharrik dar hin harakat dar har ani we make it even more precise masafat harakat the distance for motion is the category that muhtaharrik mawzu' harakat the one which is moving in the process of haraka at every moment has one type of that maqula either nu' or sinf for example one nu' one uh, species of uh, color is black or red or green or you can say sinf maybe different types of uh, black you know sinf is used for divisions under the same nor for example human beings are one no but men or women are asnaf sinf because they share gens of asl yeah mahia is the same for them they are different types of the same no okay they are ham no they are philo human beings so philosophers say masafa of haraka is the category that the subject or mutaharrik throughout haraka in every moment has one no or one type sense of that maqula which is different from the previous one or next one it is obvious that when no is changing or self is changing definitely fard is also changing individual is also changing how can no change and individual doesn't change because every individual is under different uh, you know um, no and different uh, self therefore they cannot be the same thing we cannot have something which is uh, at one point one no and another point another no for example at one point is a human being another point the same thing is um, for example cow another animal or a horse this would be then two different things so he says آشکار است که عوض شدن نوع یا سنف مستلزم عوض شدن فرد نیز هست It's obvious that when species or type is changing the individual is also changing It's impossible that, change, uh, that individual doesn't change but نوع no or سنف changes So we can say it in this way we are putting all these you know precise uh, definitions together make it the price uh, most precise definition masafat harakat maqule ist ke mutaharrik dar hin harakat dar har ani fardi az an ra darat instead of saying no yourself we say now fard fardi az an ra darat ghayr az fardi ke pish ya pas az an an darat so distance of haraka is the category that the subject of haraka during haraka in every moment has one individual of that which is different from the individual before that on or moment or after that on it's a different individual so you cannot find one individual of that category that 
masafat. You cannot have one individual in two different moments of haraka. Otherwise, we don't have haraka. If there are in the same in two moments, means haraka is sukun. It has remained the same. If, th if there is no change. This takes us then to a very important discussion between Mullah Sadra and some other philosophers. This is also very much related to discussion about Asalatul Wujud. According to those who were before Mullah Sadra, these individuals that we have throughout haraka you know they are bil yeah it's not that we have cut and made you know separate moments separate individuals color is changing at one point you can say this is light green it was dark green then become light green then becomes for example I don't know, yellow then becomes green, uh, sorry, red, light red, dark red, etc. But we don't have these colors separated from each other. We don't have individual colors. It's just farzi, it's just potential. Okay? Some people thought like Fakhruddin Razi that we, there is no haraka at all. They thought we have successive points, successive moments, successive sukun, okay, idle moments. Like imagine if someone thinks that line, khat, is just successive points, nukte, no. If you have billions of nukte, you would not have line. Line doesn't have actual points, but there are lots of endless points you can consider. So Fakhr Razi has one problem, misunderstanding. Another problem is that imagine we accept, we come forward, philosophers don't uh, say what uh, uh, Fakhr Razi said, they say there, no, there are uh, potential points not actual points but the issue is that okay now these potential points which are not actual you know actual then does it mean that at the beginning of haraka for example this apple had one color please listen very carefully i'm trying to simplify this issue at the beginning Apple was green before Haraka started. Mabda, sharp point at the beginning. At the end is red, end of Haraka. End of Haraka is not Haraka. Mabda ul Haraka is not Haraka. There are moments, there are beginning and end, but there is no gra gradual process. The Mabda or Munta. They are Ani. Okay? So, for beginning and end, we do have no problem. We have color. But in the process, because we don't have actual points, can we say that there is no color, any color, or there is color? Muhaqqa Dawani had the idea that in between there is no color because every Mahiya needs to have an individual being which has that mahiya and here we don't have actual individuals because for them individual was what was fixed fard sabit fard had to be sabit fixed mullah sadra introduces the idea of fard sayal an individual which is not sabit, it's sayal, is not fixed, is dynamic, is changing. 
So Mullah Sadra says, at the beginning, we have Fard Sabit. At the end, we have Fard Sabit. And in between also, we have Fard Sayyal, which goes through different spectrum or different uh, ranges of color. You cannot say at this moment this individual is fixed because these moments are farzi or potential. Individuals are also farzi if you want fixed individual. But if you say sayal, a vibrant, dynamic and moving individual, that's fine. And I said this is related to asalatul wujud because for Mullah Sadra, Mahiya is not asil. Mahiya is what our mind abstracts. So our mind at any point, any potential moment can abstract different Mahiya. At one point says it is uh, green, at one point says it is yellow, it's orange, it's red, etc. Mahiya can change, no problem. Because they are not real. So this is a very important point about masafat harakat so the category in which mutaharrik at every point has different individual of that category but if you are talking about fixed individuals they are not real they are just farzi potential but if you talk about fard sayyal yes this fard sayyal exists throughout Inshallah, in the next session, we will have a little discussion remaining from this lesson, which I want to have time to explain about the fact that there is a unity between masafa and haraka and zaman, distance, motion and time. There is a close uh, connection between them. And then inshallah, we start the next lesson about Harakat Jawhari Bismillah inshallah if you have any question about what we said so far please uh, share otherwise inshallah we will continue this discussion inshallah we will finish in one session maybe Harakat Jawhari and then we go to Elm Huzuri the knowledge by presence which is another important topic Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen is there any point you want to discuss or any question Thank you. may Allah bless you inshallah if there is no question we end with du'ai faraj bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim allahumma salla ala muhammadin wa ala muhammad اللهم كل وليك الحجة ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك توعا وتمتعه فيها طويلا أمن علينا ورضاه وهب لنا رافته ورحمته ودعاه وخيره اللهم اشف مرضانا اللهم ارحم موتانا اللهم اقض حواجنا ببركة الصلوات على محمد وعلى محمد الأمر. الله في عمان الله.